Hey, so are you thinking about making a move to Danville, Virginia, and you want to know some great places to eat while you're in town, whether you live here or just visiting, then in this video today, I'm going to give you four of my favorite restaurants in the city, and we're going to get after it right now. So if this is your first time to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications. You'll be the first to learn about the market right here in Danville, Virginia. My name is David Totten, licensed realtor and broker in Virginia and North Carolina, serving the Danville market and surrounding areas. My team and I, we get calls and texts every day from people just like you looking to make a move to Danville, Virginia, and we love it. So whether you're moving in six weeks or 60 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. we will be happy to help you make a smooth move to Danville. So today, I want to give you four of my favorite restaurants in this area. Stop number one, I'm standing in front of Mary's Diner, located at 1203 Piney Forest Road in Danville, Virginia. Mary's Diner has been serving this community since 1951. Over a half a century, man. And that's a great feat to be in business that long, especially as a restaurant. Yeah, Mary's Diner, 1203 Piney Forest Road. If you're looking for a home-cooked food, a solid meal, then this is a place you need to visit. The lady that started this restaurant, her name was Mary Dodson Williams. She started this restaurant, Arnett Boulevard, in a small little strip mall because back in the 50s, all of this that you see now was farmland and she did all the cooking and all the serving by herself then she moved just up the street here to her second location and her sister was helping her out but they didn't move into this building behind me until 1956. like i said the grandson is running the restaurant now but all this behind me was farmland and they used to play baseball across the street and they said they could play three innings without a car ever coming by but if you're looking for a good solid home cooked meal visit mary's diner the dine-in hours are uh, Monday through Saturday are 3 to 8 p.m. Sunday 11 to 8 but they do have a drive-through that you can order your meal through you can of course call it in and uh, pick it up in the drive-through or they have a takeout location just here and you can order your meal I'm here now I got the baked chicken fried apples and cabbage today I may give you a little taste of what I ordered. Mary's Diner, 1203 Piney Forest Road. We're gonna head to restaurant number two. Hey, welcome back. Restaurant number two on my list is Captain Cook. Captain Cook is right down the street from Mary's Diner, about a minute drive. They do have curbside pickup available. If you do curbside pickup, what you'll do, you'll come to the restaurant and you'll park in a space, turn your flashes on, somebody will come out and greet you. You tell them what parking spot you're in, they'll come out and bring your food. This is, of course, a seafood restaurant some of the best seafood in the area, whether it's fried or broiled. They have two item platters, three item platters. Uh, we usually come here after church on Sunday to uh, grab a meal. The food is absolutely amazing. They can take large parties if you do decide to dine here. They are across the street from Romy Subs and Biscuitville, right down the street from Mary's Diner, where we just left from. Address and contact information will be below in the description along with the other restaurants. But if you're looking for seafood on a Sunday or weekend and you don't feel like cooking, you can definitely come out to Captain Cook and grab some seafood here. Now we're gonna head off to restaurant number three and we'll see you back in a few minutes. <laughs> Welcome back. We are at restaurant number three on my list of my four favorite restaurants in the city. We are at Bricktown Brewery right here at 3585 Riverside Drive, which is 
right beside the movie theater and Chick-fil-A is on the other side. This place has local beer, great food. Some of my favorite items on the menu here include the salt and pepper honey chicken. Oh my goodness, they put this honey, salt and pepper together and they smother it over buttermilk chicken breast and oh my sweet baby Jesus. That food is delicious. Now, my other thing, since I'm on a healthier food kick, they have a grilled chicken salad with fresh fruits of strawberries, blueberries, peaches. They have a great house dressing and it's an American fair right off of Riverside Drive. So if you're looking for a good meal, come by Sundays 11 to 9, Monday through Thursday 11 to 10, and then on the weekends 11 to 11. Beautiful building, plenty of seating on the inside. They do take parties as well. Bricktown Brewery, if you're in the mood from some American fare, great American food, and some of their pizzas, oh, I can't begin to tell you how good the pizza is, but I can't have it. I'm trying to do better with my health. But restaurant number three on my list, Bricktown Brewery. Come check them out, Riverside Drive. We're gonna head over to restaurant number four now. We'll see you back in a few minutes. Welcome back. Thank you for sticking around to the end. I hope you've enjoyed this list of restaurants today, which are some of my favorites in the city. This is not an exhaustive list and I didn't rank them in any order, but I did save this last restaurant to the end because I'm just a huge fan of Caribbean food. So I'm standing at 920 South Main Street in Danville, Virginia, in front of Ricardo's Fayabon Jamaican restaurant. Now he's only been open a little over a week and he is crushing it. He has steady customers flowing in, and this is the new rave of town. Right here across the street from Danville Community College, you have Carter Bank and Trust across the street, but we're on the south side of Danville, Virginia, but the food here is absolutely amazing. And if you know anything about Jamaican food, is curry, is jerk. So he has curry chicken, jerk chicken, sweet chili chicken, curry goat, oxtail, jerk stew, jerk pork. Oh my goodness, I'm getting hungry thinking about it. And some of the sides he has are the, of course, cabbage, oxtails, cocoa bread, rice and peas, one of my favorites. Another is the Rasta pasta, which, man, when he let me taste it, my knees buckled a little bit. And now I'm not supposed to eat pasta, but I had to try it. And it is absolutely delicious. And I promise I will not steer you wrong when it comes to food because I love to eat. So next week, we'll be probably talking about the best gyms in the area because after you eat all this food, you gotta work it off somewhere. But Ricardo's Firebond Jamaican Restaurant, 920 South Main Street in Danville, Virginia is number four on the list. And if you're in the mood for Jamaican Caribbean food, this is the place to be. It's on the south side again. I hope you enjoyed these restaurants today. Again, four of my favorites in the city. Not all of my favorites, but these four I got today. We'll continue this restaurant series as we go. David in Virginia, EXP Realty, licensed realtor in Virginia, North Carolina, looking to help you make a smooth move to Danville, Virginia. My team and I get calls and texts every day. So send us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. We'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Danville and maybe even take you out to eat. But until we see you in the next video, Please take care. God bless. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.